There we go. Signing on the dotted line brought a whole new meaning to the North East today. In a historic move, leaders of our local authorities, together with Chancellor George Osborne, signed a devolution deal which will bring more powers to the region as well as an elected mayor. Voters will take to the polls in 2017 to elect a mayor to oversee the North East Combined Authority. Just one of those in the running is leader of Newcastle City Council, Nick Forbes. One of the challenges that we've had over the last few months has been different departments being quite unwilling to give up some of their Whitehall-based empires. But we've been persistent and we've been making the case that it's far better to have decisions that affect the North East taken here in the North East than it is to have them taken 300 miles away behind desks in Whitehall and in Westminster. And I think we've won that argument pretty convincingly. And today, the deal that we're signing with the Chancellor is a really important part of... Uh, ensuring that we continue to make further progress. But the biggest focus at Newcastle College's Real Academy in Gateshead today was on the Chancellor himself. It is a big day for the North East. This is an opportunity for the people here to take greater control over the decisions that affect your lives, uh, greater control over decisions around transport, around jobs, around skills, around healthcare, the things that matter to families here. And uh, I think it shows there's an unstoppable momentum in the Northern Powerhouse. After making this impassioned speech, Mr Osborne was taken on a tour of the Academy to see the next generation of rail engineers at work. Devolution from Westminster has been pondered amongst council leaders and ministers for a while now, and the words Northern Powerhouse are never far from the lips of MPs. But there won't be a no to a North East Mayor option on the ballot papers come 2017. Quite a bold move for the government. Why haven't the public been given a say on this? Well, we made a clear commitment in the election manifesto just a few months ago that we would reach out across the party divides to local Labour leaders and uh, here in the North East and say, look, work with us. Let's take some powers over skills and transport and planning and all the things that affect people because these are about how they get to work and the jobs they do and the skills they've got for the future. And let's make sure those decisions are taken here in the northeast. And I want to make sure that the person who takes those decisions is accountable to local people. And uh, as a result, they need to be elected. You need to have an elected mayor. And other great cities in the world, of course, like Paris or Barcelona or London, have mayors, so why not here in the North East? And now let's make sure we get some good candidates. I heard that uh, David Miliband might be uh, thinking of having a go at putting his name forward. So we'll see what happens. So the government aren't giving the people of the North East a say in whether we do indeed want a mayor, and these people in Sunderland have rather mixed opinions about it. I'm all for things that will devolve power from London to the regions. I'm not convinced that a mayor is the best way to do that. Uh, I think it would be good to have a bit more uh, kind of accountability through regional, uh, a regional assembly or something like that. A, a mayor could be part of that, but it just seems to me it's gone off half cock, really. Well, I think that would be very good. I think they should, yeah, we should have our own control. I think we sh I just think that we should be doing, we should have more say. I'm quite um, surprised because I didn't think this was in the mix at all. Maybe we will become the powerhouse of the North East if we have somebody who's actually pushing us that way. But um, I don't think Boris Johnson's done a fantastic job in London, so not sure. The region will get £30 million a year spending, which will be in addition to existing council spending. So what's it all going to be spent on? We're going to bring the investment here, the improvement to the roads here, the skills here, We've got new factories here, like the new train factory in uh, Newton Aycliffe and Nissan building its next car model at Sunderland. I just want that to continue and the best way to do that is to have powerful local champions elected by local people taking decisions that otherwise would have been taken in London but I think are better taken in the North East and so it means the North East is at the heart of the Northern Powerhouse. The elected mayor, when the time comes, will face challenges. The area the mayor will represent for the North East is from Berwick to Barnet Castle. So the deal has been done, the agreement signed, but it'll be a few years yet until we do perhaps see a diminished north-south divide. Zoe Muldoon, Made in Tyne and Weir.